Android 11 is on Surface Duo. <laughs> it was updated to ATT customer at the beginning of this week. So, so this video is essentially looking at Android 11, looking at all the bugs I found for the last eight or nine months. All those videos are in my playlist, so if you want to see the bugs, I actually record them in the playlist. And did they fix those bugs? And are there any new bugs? What are the improvements to Android 11? A kind of wish list of what I think I want them to improve. And then final verdict, right? So let's get started. Uh, so the first thing is, when I first got the phone, there was a couple, I think back then there was like not a lot of updates. Uh, so the first thing I know is like, I could not unlock. There's some cases where I could, I could not unlock with the fingerprint uh, and then, or I couldn't unlock and the touch screen didn't work either. So that was like a hard fit. The only way I can work around that is by literally, you know, pressing the button on the power button hard. I believe that was actually improved or fixed on when they did Android 10 updates and I, I didn't see it on Android 11. So those two issues were the lock screen was messed up. I couldn't unlock it. Touch screen was messed up. I couldn't unlock it. That looked like they improved it on the Android 11, Android 10, and I don't see an Android 11, but it's been only one week. The other thing that was very obvious was three button navigation, which actually I'm using right now, Instagram. And the three button was hidden under the Instagram menu. So that got fixed. So now you can see Instagram. Those are clearly, you know, here, right? It used to be on top of these, uh, these uh, five buttons here. The other thing was WeChat. You know, WeChat, I used to be able to, uh, I had a problem where if I'm in phone mode in WeChat and I was trying to type and message somebody, you could not see where you're typing. That got fixed uh, in phone mode. Uh, uh, typing. The other thing was the black screen in uh, book mode. Uh, I still see that in Android 11. And what I see is not just, you know, you don't go all of a sudden the black screen turns off. And normally what happens when you switch from phone mode to book mode, uh, you can't, you could see that. But what I do see is that when I'm in book mode, I still see the double tap to turn on the screen here. And it, it kind of, yeah, double tap, and then it turns on, and then it goes away. So I still see that different way, but it's, I still see that in the Android 11. Um, so in FOMO, rotating too fast. You know, you go here. The other thing was the whole rotating, you get the double taps to a screen. Um, I still, you know, you still can trick it. So you still can trick this thing. You rotate it, and it's out of sync you still have the issue where you don't get the double tap to turn on, on the other screen in FOMO. So it still happens. The gesture, I believe that's got worse, to be honest with you. Uh, that's why I ended up switching to uh, the button navigation. So I, I feel like that got worse and I was trying to switch to sensitivity, but I still think Android 10 was better than 11 on gesture. So, but they did fix the three button navigation like Instagram. So I ended up switching to three button navigation, right? Uh, book mode to FOMO, both screen turning on. I definitely see that. Um, it's, you know, it happens. I see that where both screen turn and you notice that instantly because if you touch your hands on the other screen and you try and do something here, it won't, it won't allow you to do it. So. That, that does happen on Android 11 still, I see that. Um, the other thing was, you know, the, the other thing I noticed was that when you're watching a video on, on, on YouTube and then you minimize it, sometime if you push it this way, actually that happens right there. But uh, let's say that you push it that way, push it this way, it should work like that. But then if you go in full mode, right, it should stop here, right? Because it knows you're in full mode. Um, so it looked like that got fixed. Uh, before, I used to be that if I push it to this edge, actually you'll see half of the M3 thing here, which means it thinks it's still in book mode or it just get, you know, basically, you know, turn off like basically the, the whole video just go off the screen right in FOMO so that looked like that got fixed 
Um, turn out this video here. <laughs> uh, so the other thing that I don't like is this whole, you know, they have this new feature. I'll talk about that later. But in order to close out the app, you got to go all the way down to close out the app. Uh, that's that's lame. Uh, that is, you know, I wish they improved that, uh, but they did not improve that. Right. So uh, camera is still slow. <laughs> so, I think that's a hardware issue, stutter speed. So they did add a new app or Microsoft Photo to kind of allow you to edit or to post post process it, but that's the kind of workaround. Uh, uh, sometimes the other thing I noticed before was that in the camera apps, sometimes you press the button, you, you, you take pictures instead of recording video. I have not noticed that. But I have not used the camera as much as I used to, uh, so I don't know if that exists or not. So maybe I'll I'll use the camera more and tell you if that still exists. Uh, the phone call sometimes you get a phone call, and you you know stop the phone. You you finish your phone call. You basically say disconnect, and I still see in notification that there's a phone call <laughs> uh, in here somewhere. I have not seen that. Look like they have fixed that. Uh, but I think maybe that was kind of improved on Android 10, but definitely I don't see the Android 11. Rotation, um, I think it's faster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as soon as I say it's faster, it's slower. So yeah, you can see it's still, yeah, damn it, man. So I guess I originally I would say it was fast. So it's still the same. Uh, battery usage, uh, apps, um, it does not reset when you charge the phone. It's something where you know your usage, when you charge it, you would think they reset the screen on time, but they don't. Uh, uh, so that's kind of, uh, I have not noticed that. Uh, I haven't really think about that. Uh, uh, didn't look, in, look into that yet, but uh, I, I'll check that later. Uh, charging the phone, you turn off the phone, you plug in the charger, Normally in a regular phone, it will not turn on and you press the button a little bit and you'll see the indicator saying how much you charge. Android 10, Android 11, you press, you know, you turn off the phone, you plug in the charging cable, it turns on the damn phone. So it's still there. Android 11 still have this issue. Uh, accidentally turn on the flashlight. I don't see that. I think that was probably improved on Android 10. I think most of that was due to the gesture being, there's a lazy and gesture and you kind of press the button and, and then you accidentally go to another screen or do something else where you accidentally press the, the flash button, uh, flashlight button. But I think that was probably improved on Android 10 and the, I think that was a latency of the touch screen essentially. Uh, double tap to close apps. So that one, they removed double tap to close the app. So that, that was their fix was don't have that feature anymore. Switching to three button to gesture, I had this issue actually have a video where it actually shows me getting stuck switching between gesture and three button. I don't see that anymore. Uh, I actually am switching to three button right now. Uh, screenshot on FOMO. So you, you used to have a problem where you do this and you take a screenshot and you screenshot, the first screenshot you take will have both screens on. Uh, you can see that there's issue here right now. That's, yeah, that's. Uh, now, uh, they end up creating a new mode where you can literally take a screenshot. You can see right there, there's a button right here that you can take a screenshot there. So that is look like that got fixed. They add a new feature essentially, uh, missing bottom tray in phone mode. I just have veal just now, just this week. I literally, when I was in phone mode, this bottom tray was gone and it happens. Uh, I actually took a video and it's posted on the, my playlist. So, so I don't, you know, I still see that unfortunately, uh, disappearing widget. Uh, yeah, I would go back and forth in FOMO book mode and uh, slow. <laughs> this, this widget will disappear. It's in the display. It's still there. You can press this, you know, the space and you'll see is, you know, the clock and the weather app, but this happens only when you're in battery saving mode. When I'm like less than twenty percent, I noticed that. Uh, so when you can't do this, right? 
and you can see this thing just blink 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 eventually just disappear this these widgets so i still see that it only happens in battery saving mode vertical book mode um essentially this uh please switch damn okay uh i used to have an issue where if i have an app up here let me see man this thing is as soon as i say it was good it's getting bad so this thing taking a long time to rotate okay so let's say i have an app up here youtube right i would have problem where if i keep playing with the screen and i i kind of swipe it down to my closely my home screens up here but i can't see it it'll actually get it'll give me the um the search for the apps and then it gets is frozen so i don't see that anymore um i still have a problem with vertical book mode just in general you can see right here i cannot see this last home screen my widget is up here somewhere so if you go back here right here it is and you can scroll through that right but then if you go here you're kind of uh out of luck man you know essentially you cannot see that screen right so i you know that's kind of a oversight i think uh so so it's still not it's still messed up right um the other thing that's messed up is when you try to type let's say you're watching a video here let's, let's say you want to watch a video right and let's say you want to uh type something down here let me pick something and type uh map let's try a map app <laughs> Okay, I cannot see it because my map app's hidden over here. Uh, let's try uh, uh, Discord, and I want to type something. Look at that! It's like <laughs> I just just it's like the the damn thing went up here. And this is again, I didn't change my keyboard setting or anything. But if you do this, switch it, no problem. But here, you know, you're you're kind of screwed. So. That's still messed. The, the the whole Virgo book at book uh, uh, thing is still broken. It's not optimized for it. Um, battery life, okay, maybe a little improvement. Five to six hours screen time, mostly in Wi-Fi. Uh, so maybe a little bit of improvement, not much improvement. Um, uh, opening links uh, in emails. I noticed this. I thought it was always something with my my phone uh, being bad, you know my or maybe my setting or something. But if you you go let's say, so I I click on this Reddit link, right? Sometimes it works. Sometimes this I didn't get this even on Android ten, uh, but on a Samsung phone no problem. But on an Android ten I could not even get that. Uh, sometimes it doesn't even open. It just kind of gets stuck there. But then let's let's say I click on another link, it doesn't change. So it's basically stuck on my previous link. But on the Samsung phone, no problem. So there's something about this form factor or Android 10, 11 on Surface that you cannot click on links and refresh this, like open up Reddit and refresh it. So it's just Reddit, but it could be other apps that have the same problem. Typing. Um, some improvements, latency, I guess people have an issue with where you type and there's certain latency it doesn't feel right. Maybe a little bit of improvement. I don't notice that much. Uh, even on Android, I do notice it uh, very early on Android 10. And then they made improvements. And then I feel like uh, they made a little more improvement, you know, on it. Some new bugs. I definitely noticed the screencast is broken. So if you go here, you type and you press screencast, it doesn't connect. The only thing you hear is a sound. You won't see the veil or you don't see any movements. Uh, you can't, like, it's just stuck there, essentially. Uh, you only hit the sound. This used to be a problem on the Android 10. In the last, let's say, three or four months, I think Android updates fixed it. And then with Android 11, now it's broken again. But on a Samsung phone, which is always on Android 11, no problem. So screencast definitely a new bug uh, some improvements they did uh on android 10 uh wire notification which is cool because i i kind of like i wish they had it they have wide screen so let's do it screen recorder uh one of them let me see screen recorder 
Oh, I don't. Oh, right here. Screen recorder is there. Uh, so that's new. Uh, they have this uh, surface uh, feature now. Menus, which is kind of uh, surface dual features, which has span automatically, which is cool. The span automatically only works when you you have both screen have no apps. So then you open like Outlook or Maps, it will span automatically if you if you dictate those to be there. But if there's an app here, it will only span those. Okay, which is okay. Um, there is a new photo app they did, uh, which is kind of uh, post processing your photos. Uh, it's cool, but this camera is so bad. I don't feel like if you want a really good photo, you want to use your your phone to take good photos using the <laughs> phone, not this phone. And this is kind of that workaround. So I would never like take a picture with Surface Duo and spend five minutes trying to improve it because you you there's a limitation, right? The hardware is a limitation, not the software that much uh, on this phone at least. Um, so. There is a slim pen, press the bu button to launch one note. I don't have a slim pen. I'm not going to pay $120, $130 for it. So um, there's a thumb mode. Um, so when you type, you can uh, go into thumb mode to type. So let's, you can basically get thumb mode, but then the only problem with that is that if you have a video over here and you do thumb mode, you're kind of screwed. So, so let's, let's do that. So let's say you can actually change this to thumb mode. Right, but then if you're watching something here, the video gets crunched up. So, but I don't want to do that. Uh, so I did. I was originally like, yeah, it's pretty cool. But then if I'm watching something here, it get crunched up. So I end up switching to one hand, which is pretty cool. Um, so, you know, so that, that's cool if you like to switch to do thumb mode. Get you know, you both your thumbs, but then the other screen that you're using will get get, get crunched up. Right, so. Uh, stuff I wish they improve on uh, so battery life uh, they have this thing where you can you go battery life settings and they only shows one day um, and like the Samsung phone they have an option to show like seven days uh, apparently that was a Samsung feature so I thought that was standard Android but then if you go in this other um, settings here you can actually get it so here's your seven days so it's good for just to understand is your screen time better or worse and which one which app is you know you're using that cost the most uh, uh, battery usage so so that I wish they had that on the battery setting but you can get it here in the, some dashboard uh, double tap to wake up I wish they had that I think almost every phone Android has that so and I'm not on a double tap switch screen but you know, if you double tap here and turn off the screen, double tap here, turn on the screen, uh, to wake up the screen. That I wish they had that. I wish they had the split screen, which is a almost every I think is Android eleven feature where you can have two apps on one screen. Again, just allow you to have more stuff on the screen, right? Um, so that's you know, final verdict on this. Uh, yeah, they fix more bugs than they introduce. They didn't fix everything. I'd say the only re only thing that annoys me is the screencast because that is a definite bug because you can't work around. The, all these bugs are more like, all these other bugs is more like a hey, temporary thing and you can kind of, you know, it goes away in a second or two, right? Uh, so there's a step forward, I guess it's a bridge between 10 and 12 and hopefully 12 is better than Android 10, I think. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.